Hey friends, hey guys, and welcome to today's pregnancy update. I am going to do like a quick little update, probably every couple weeks and fill you in on what's going on, what's the tea, how everything is going. I think my last update I did was at 10 weeks and I am officially 13 weeks today. So we will call this my like 12 week update because I think a lot happened in 12 week, my week 12, the 12 week thing. I'm currently experiencing um, some severe lower back pain, like sciatica. Uh, my back went out, I don't know, like four days ago. How many days has it been? Probably three or four days. Okay, gives me kind of hope maybe it'll go away. Um, like three or four days ago, my back, I bent wrong and it's just terrible and so painful and especially painful today. It's the worst it's been. I'm trying to get into the chiropractor and get checked out because it is just unbearable. I've had a good cry this morning. I'm okay right now. Yay. Uh, week 12 was interesting. I thought I was out of the first trimester, but there's a lot of debate going on about that on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. So I don't know. I think maybe I'm not, maybe I'm still in the first trimester. Who knows? Typically 12 weeks, when you hit 12 weeks, you're like in the safe zone. I got to see the baby this week. That was kind of a fluke thing. I had some spotting slash like discharge that had to get checked out. So thankfully I was able to see the baby and the baby's doing really, really well. Super active, really, really, really low. Super low, um, way lower than Ella ever was. So that's been interesting. And I don't know, I'm just feeling a little puny this week, to be honest, TBH, to be honest. Like it's a lot for me to just sit down and film this right now. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying. So week 12, baby was, I, I mean, I just turned 13 weeks today, so we can just go ahead and safely say 12 weeks. 12 weeks, baby is the size of a lime, which is wild. The baby grew so much. Even looking at the ultrasound pictures, which I would share with you guys, but I just sat down. <laughs> and um, they, the baby was moving like crazy. Only reason I got an ultrasound was to check the heartbeat. Um, Dr. V decided, he's like, hey, you're here, might as well just get like scanned just to check instead of doing the Doppler, like a little treat. So that was super nice. Baby was like doing a handstand and like wildly active. So freaking low, so low in my stomach, like wild, like at my pubic bone, low. Um, I don't remember that with Ella. I don't remember her being so low and I don't know if that has anything to do or not with like my back pain. I have never experienced back pain for longer than a day or two ever and I've never really had sciatic issues. I'm praying to God that they don't last and I'm going to be very positive and say they won't. It'll either go away and get fixed up or whatever. It's definitely taken a toll on me a little bit. Um, what else in week 12? I'm still, I feel like nausea has come back a little bit. It kind of chilled out for a little while and now it's back. And um, it's not all day. It's just kind of like randomly off and on I get nauseous. I think it may have something to do with the back pain though. The back pain is like the main focus of all of this is my 12 weeks was back pain and spotting. Spotting ended up being absolutely nothing. The baby is great and the back pain is horrendous. I think it will go away though. What else? Oh, we get a gender anatomy scan in a few weeks, which is super exciting. Uh, we are gonna find a way to do a gender reveal for you guys. It'll just be us and our little, like our little unit, uh, the Brazies. And it, I'm sure it will have something to do with a really fun snack for Ella's sake, but I'm really excited about that. That gives me like something to look forward to. We have not purchased a single thing for this baby yet other than a chair. And I had like a momentary panic, like in the middle of the night, which was super random. Um, a couple nights ago where I was like, holy crap, like, are we going to be able to get everything this baby needs? Like, I feel like we should already have stuff. I don't know. It was just really like panic mode. I know this baby's going to be fine and babies don't need all the fancy things. They need somewhere to sleep. They need food to eat and they need clothes and diapers and wipes and binkies and blankets and swaddles <laughs> and a baby monitor, all things, um, which will be totally taken care of. I just feel like super emotional which is a pregnancy thing and like a life thing for me and that probably is exasperating all of my fears all of a sudden also kind of have like an insomnia thing going on as well 12 weeks is fun i know this is not going to last forever though so i'm going to push through the yucky feelings and just say chalk it up to um just not a good week for me but i've had a little insomnia i'm waking up to pee already a lot 
which that's honestly not that new for me because ever since having Ella, my bladder, I feel like shrank um, to like a pea size, literally. So I'm getting up several times at night to go to the bathroom and now that my back hurts, it kind of makes it like a production that's so fun. I am cursing my back currently. It's so annoying. So if you guys have any tips for sciatic pain, like what helped you, I know that the chiropractor will help a lot and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get in there and get it fixed up soon. That's kind of been taking over my life this week. This pregnancy is flying by, it really is. I feel so blessed and so lucky and like even if I do have this back pain until the day that I deliver, I will deal with it and suck it up. It's just like I've never experienced back pain before and I don't think it's baby related because I bent and it happened so I don't think it like has anything to do with the baby but I just have read some horror stories about sciatic pain and it's really no joke and I had no idea it was so bad so that's really been my main, especially today, today's really bad and I'm trying to like man up and film this video. Um, just because like I, I do want to document this experience and be totally transparent and honest with you guys. I had such a big cry earlier. I couldn't get up. It was just such a pain. I just felt so useless and it was awful. And I, I have no time to feel like that. And I have no time to be um, benched. So it's been a few days. I am going to take a couple more days to let my body just like heal and relax and John has been so wonderful in helping me like bend he's doing all the bending in my life right now um I just went to bend over and get a bra off the floor and my back was just like not having it and I cried and it was awful I just feel really puny like I I think um it's easy to like feel sorry for yourself when you're in so much pain but it's also at the same time like I I feel like I'm gonna be I know I'm gonna be okay and the baby is okay so I'm like totally good it's the most active child I've ever seen in the womb in my life. We have not been able to get like a clear focus picture of this baby in my uterus. And I've had a few ultrasounds now um, at all since like it was like nine weeks, like tiny, tiny. And even then you guys saw it was like a little jelly bean just like bloop, 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 moving its arms and legs. That has definitely um, been interesting because Ella didn't move a lot. Even when, well, she moved obviously, but like not really. I don't know. It's interesting because the baby is so so freaking active even the ultrasound tech was like holy crap like it was doing a handstand and like punching the thing like get away from me like why are you guys pushing on me it's just really super active baby super super low and that's exciting it'll be interesting to see what their personalities like when they are in the actual world like i don't know because ella will had no chill when she came out so maybe this baby will be super chill when they come out who knows overall though i'm still really excited i'm super grateful and I felt really good like four or five days ago. You guys are catching me in a weak moment, but I've been feeling overall pretty good up until like literally the last four days. <laughs> Today is like the worst and I'm going to get through it. I'm going to heat, heating pad my back and like just really take it easy. But that has been like my main thing in week 12 and a little bit of spotting, which has turned out to be nothing, which is great. So that's really what's going on in week 12. How are you guys feeling? A lot of you guys are pregnant, like we're all pregnant together, which is so fun, I love that. I am loving reading those comments and a couple of you guys are like, actually a lot of you guys are a couple weeks behind me and then there's a few of you who are a couple weeks before me. Um, a few of you that have the same exact date as I do, like holy crap, Corona babies, am I right? So that's been really fun. Let me know if you guys are pregnant mamas and you're pregnant with me, let me know how it's going for you. Um, if you've already hit the 12 week mark, how, how did that go for you? Have you had any back pain? Have you had to like, have you had anything going on? I don't know. It's been really fun to be pregnant with a group of women who are just as excited as I am. And it's nice to share these things with you guys. And I know you guys will understand, but seriously, I will be fine. I am a trooper. I will continue on. Got to chug through life. Um, I just am having a weak moment today. And thankfully I'm not crying on camera because we God knows I've done that enough. Wow. But overall, I will be okay. I think I will keep you guys updated. But the baby is great and we are on to another week. I'm in 13 weeks today. I can't even believe it. I feel like I just found out. I can't believe it. It's just so crazy how fast it's flying. Time is flying. Kiddos go back to school in like a week. Um, Ella had her doctor's appointment yesterday and it went so great. And 
she's just doing awesome and thriving which makes this mommy happy and we're just you know living life everything else in my life is perfect and great and good right now and i will take that as a victory i hope you guys are having a good day or night or whatever time it is wherever you are and we will see you in the next one we love you guys and i'll see you soon bye friends